sometimes for vlogging, I use the Tokina 11 to 16. It's super wide. It looks awesome on the GH5. But today, we're going to test out this little guy. This is the SLR Magic. Uh, what is it? 8 millimeter lens? Right? This is what it looks like compared to the Tokina lens. Obviously, it's way smaller. It's going to be super lightweight. So the Sigma is a pretty big lens. It's heavy. Uh, it sticks out quite a ways from the camera. I usually just hold the lens itself with like one finger under the camera, get myself in focus, and just do my thing. So this is how wide the 18 to 35 looks like on the GH5. So now I, I have the little SLR Magic 8 millimeter lens on, I think it is. It's set to f4, which is the widest the aperture can get. It's absolutely puny. You can tell lights just leaking in from above the lens just because it's so wide. It's very light, that's the, oh, ooh, left hand is awesome. Okay, left hand, can you see this? Yeah, the way I'm holding this feels really good. I'm a little bummed that it's only F4, but it is really small, so I'll just crank up the ISO a little bit. So we're at 1600 ISO inside, which isn't too bad. So this is my arm completely straight out. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna remember where I'm standing. So this is the SLR Magic, and this is the Tokina 11 to 16. I'm standing in the same spot, my arms all the way out. I feel like they're similar. This lens is easier to focus. It has a little bit of zoom. With the speed booster, I can go to an F2, which is really nice um, for like indoor or low light stuff. I like holding this better just because it's I can hold the lens. It's easier to hold. Um, and it's just it's pretty easy to just focus really quick. I think we're gonna put the SLR magic on and just kind of like test it out today and make some movie magic. Let's do that. One thing I'm noticing is it works super well on like a gorilla pod because it weighs nothing. Balances on the gorilla pod way better than my 18 to 35. It's just nice and easy to pick up and place. Make movies. How's it going? I am so minimalist. One thing I'm noticing might be an issue is kind of the focus distance at f4. So f4 is the widest the aperture will go. And when I try to focus like back on the refrigerator, that's as far back as it goes. And I don't think it's super sharp, um, which is very normal in a lot of lenses, but if you're going to want to shoot super wide and get everything in focus, you'll probably have to shoot closer to like f8 or f16. The lens breathes a lot, you can see it breathing back and forth. Um, but the focus up close is kind of amazing. It's actually really insane. My finger is like really close to the camera. It's pretty sweet so far. I think just the convenience of being able to place it anywhere and it doesn't take up space is probably like one of the coolest benefits. So I'll probably, I'm probably going to keep this thing. This is my minimalistic apartment. Here's my chair. Kitchen. Dirty stove. I must go.